We look at the darkness surrounding the Arabian Peninsula just before the birth of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, the darkness that the whole globe was upon. If you take a look at in India, how a woman was treated, she was such that if her husband died, there was no chance of marrying again. Most of them burnt themselves to death because they were taught that. They were brainwashed to believe that that was their system. And they believed in reincarnation. When a person dies, up to today, there are some who believe that the person reappears in the form of some either bird or snake, depending on whether they led a good life or a bad one. I remember one of the sisters once in my own community telling me that they had some people visiting them after the death of one of the relatives. And as they walked out, they saw a dove sitting on one of the branches of a tree. And they looked at this dove and they said, Oh, that must be this person. And when I was told, I thought to myself, Well, this dove was alive well before the death of this person. But look at how the people's minds are. The darkness at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or just prior to his time, if you take a look at the Arabian Peninsula, Religiously, as we mentioned yesterday, they worshipped idols. So much so that they made idols out of stones. And when they found a better stone, they would throw away what they used to worship for so many years. And when they had a big problem, they would go to someone who had a bigger stone to say, Hang on, can I borrow your God because I've got an issue, big problem. Allahu Akbar. Imagine the brains of the people. And Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, he actually says, as intelligent as he was, he says, we made a God out of dates. And you know, we could shape it up much more easily than stone. So we shaped it up and it was so nice. And one day I was very hungry, asking the God for food, food, no food came, I ate the God. Allahu Akbar, ate the, the God. So this was the type of mentality around the darkness. They believed in lots of superstition, as we mentioned last night. See something and they believe, oh, this means that will happen. And that means this will happen. And if this happens, then this. If you see a cinnamon, then that. If someone is having hiccups, then another person is remembering them. If you sneeze once, that means someone has remembered you and so on. This had all come from that particular time. And it seeped through across the globe. For your information, to this day, some of us are guilty of believing in some of these superstitious items.